Hello everyone, in today's video tutorial I'm going to show you how to flash Flyme OS on your Nubia Z60 Ultra. Now this ROM is pretty cool and it's definitely worth checking out and you're also going to see that the procedure to flash it is very easy. So without any further ado, let's get started. So before we start you're gonna need a couple things. First of all you're gonna need a bo unlock bootloader on your phone. Now I'm not gonna cover in the video how to do that but I will leave a written guide on XDA in the description down below. And it's really simple, really straightforward, so just go ahead and unlock your bootloader, and once you have your bootloader unlocked, you can proceed with the tutorial. And then you're gonna need the links that I'll provide in the description. So you'll have the ROM itself, and you're gonna have the tools. So for this step, you wanna go into the phone itself. So show you guys I'm on the stock my OS I might blur this part out because like my IMEI number is there but anyway you want to tap on build number until you enable developer options now you want to swipe back and go to system and update developer options and we're gonna search for USB debugging we're gonna enable it now we're gonna get our USB cable and we're gonna plug it into the PC so, we've got my cable here, and it's going to ask for USB debugging permissions, blah, blah, blah. Let's go MTP first. It's going to say there, USB debugging connected. Okay, so now you're going to want to go to the tools folder, and we're going to have here... Actually, no, you want to first, first you want to install the meow drivers. So, I've already installed those, just press there, it's a basic installer. I'm just going to quit out of it because I already have them installed and you're gonna see this folder here called 1.0.7 test now this is a very important step you have to copy this to the desktop otherwise the tool will not work and do not rename the folder in any way just leave it like this and copy it to the desktop all right now you want to launch Z ZT family toolbox as an administrator and it's gonna try to detect our phone wait maybe locked okay and it it detected it's an OBS Z60 Ultra, but just in case it doesn't, let me just go back. If you get the screen, you want to select number um, number 17, which is an OBS Z60 Ultra. So just type in 17, press enter. And here you want to go to the flash recovery option, number 3. So you press number 3 and you enter. Now you press 1 to flash. And it's going to ask you here to select your torp recovery. Now, I've provided it in the 1.0.7 test folder, it's this one right here. And now it's, uh, it's gonna flash the Torp recovery in your device, press allow if it asks for permission to do so. And you'll see that the phone screen will go blank, and it will tell you there that it's flashing. So here in Torp recovery you wanna go to wipe, you wanna go to format data, and you wanna type in yes. And hit OK. And now you're going to go to Reboot and Recovery. I'm going to go ahead and copy the actual ROM itself. So I'll make this window small again. And you'll see that the phone is going to show up. Actually, no, it shows up as a Nubia Z60 Ultra. The first time I did this, it showed up as Red Magic 9 Pro. But if it does show up as a Red Magic 9 Pro, don't worry about it. Seems like this time it shows up correctly, though. So once again, go in the Tutorial folder and ROM. And here you have the ROM itself. You just drag it over. Wait for it to copy. So as we can see, it copied. And now, just go back to the phone. Install. Select ROM. And flash. Now this is also going to take a while. And at the end, it might throw some strange errors. Don't worry about it, it's normal. It happens. And as we can see, it's done flashing. Now, one more important thing before we reboot, we have to go to wipe, advanced wipe, and we need to delete the cache. And so now we go to reboot and we select slot A. And now we wait. And if you see the screen, congratulations. You successfully flashed Fly Me OS 
on the Nubia Z60 Ultra. And there we have it. Now I'm also gonna go through the setup process with you guys. So skip all of these. But I am gonna show you guys the fingerprints so you can see that it works. So then and the screen will go black when enrolling. That is a known bug. But other than that, it's going to go ahead and enroll just fine. There we go. Now we are on the home screen. And it's got like a fuck ton of Chinese bloatware, which is to be expected from a ROM like this. So we're just going to go ahead and uninstall it all real quick. So now I'm also going to show you guys how to get Google services on here. So real quick, go to settings. And you're going to have this annoying Chinese keyboard. We're also going to get rid of that. So, um, yeah. Uh, this Sogo keyboard's a piece of shit. Okay. So you want to search for Google in the settings. Go to Google Basic Services. Enable that. And now here's the fun part. We're going to download a Play Store APK using the default Chinese brand. Alright, of course it's going to tell you that this app has now passed the safety net, safety test of Meizu App Store. We don't care about that, we know Google Play is not a virus, so we can go ahead and install it. And uh, now you can open and you can sign in with your Google account and install all of your favorite Google apps. So that's about it for setup, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and the final verdict is do I recommend this ROM? The answer is yes. So uh, yeah, all in all this ROM is pretty cool, has a very high Antutu score benchmark for those who care about that and overall uh, smoothness and usability is very good on it, uh, animations are like very buttery smooth. And overall, I am pleased with it, and I recommend you guys try it out if you have a Nubia Z60 Ultra. And with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you again in another one. Goodbye.